Hope you will understand about Hunter's Trigger Bands by the end of this video. Enamel is made up of rods or rods are also known as prisms. It is the basic structural unit of an enamel. It looks like this a keyhole pattern. In some other direction it may look like fish scales if you look at in this direction. So the rods are not uniformly arranged. They are changed in direction to withstand stress. Okay. So this is uh, the basic for hunter shaker pants. Uh, this change in direction is useful in withstanding load. So it's a functional adaptation. It helps in mastication. So when we take a longitudinal ground section that is in this direction, you ground it, you grind a teeth in this direction. So it is a longitudinal ground section of a tooth. And if you view it under oblique reflected light, you see this optical phenomenon. Alternate dark and light bands are seen. Hunter sugar bands is the name given for this optical phenomenon. So if rods or prisms are cut in longitudinally, it produces dark bands known as parazones. Okay, so this is the longitudinal cutting of an enamel. So if you cut it longitudinally, you see dark bands known as parazones. And if the rods or prisms in a particular area are cut transversely, you produce it produces light band known as diazones. This light band is known as diazone. So depending on the change in the direction of the enamel rods present in enamel, you get alternating parazones and diazones. This change in direction is useful in functional adaptation of enamel. But it is purely an optical phenomenon by many people. It has some suggest that this dark zones and light zone differ in permeability and other physical property. While some suggest it is just an optical phenomenon which is widely accepted. So hunter sugar bands this is all about it.